Hi students. Uh, now we are going to discuss about the new ASA method. This another name of this uh, new ASA method is a modified MMF method. So here the uh, first step is to for requirement of this uh, new ASA method is how to plot the open circuit characteristic curve and uh, ZPF uh, characteristic curve. So by drawing these two curves. Here, yeah, this is your OCC and uh, ZPFC. Already, we know how to draw this uh, ZPFC curve. You know, we have the data based upon the data for uh, paraphrase values. You draw the OCC and ZPFC. Now, in the last class, uh, we discussed about the how to construct the Portier triangle. So, here is your Portier triangle. This is your Portier triangle ABC. ABC is your Fourier triangle. From this uh, ABC, uh, AB indicates armature MMF and uh, BC indicates IAXAL drop. IAXAL drop. So now, after completing that, assume here ER1 equal to BT. It is just like similar to your MMF method, but some modifications we are doing here. ER1 equal to VT since IRA drop is negligible. So, and also one more thing uh, you consider whatever be the angle from the IA with respect to VT, the same angle is also present for the IA and ER1 also. So, that's why here alpha is equal to uh, theta. So then uh, what about the ER1 value? ER1 value is the uh, same as with your VT. So that's why 127 at an angle of 36.86. Now take the magnitude this 127 and uh, coming to the graph this is your 127. Find out the 127 in the y axis. Now make a dotted line. Make a line with this uh, from this 127. It touches the OCC curve at this point here, this point. Now obtain the corresponding FR1 from the x axis. So now by finding that FR1 value is 1.6 something. So, so many have all of you have draw the graph, uh, it will deviate from 1.5 to 1.6 you don't worry you take that its value is nearer to 1.6 now uh, next step is uh, obtain FA plus FAL for the corresponding ISC from the short circuit curve it is already discussed in the last class so that FA plus FAL value is 1.2 so now by taking this FR1 and FA plus FAL Okay, find out the FF dash from the following phasor diagram. So this is a phasor diagram. Here in this phasor diagram, this is a OA and AB. Here the angle here it is a theta value. Now by knowing the FR1, FA plus FA and theta by by using the this formula to find out the FF dash. Here the FF dash value is 2.56 it is nearer to 2.56 don't worry forget about the decimal values you consider 2.5 it is near to 2.5 to 2.6 next in the next step find out the air gap voltage ER all of you know the air gap voltage formula VT plus IRA plus JAXL here by taking IA as reference find out the ER you got 148.6 volts here Find out this 148.6 volts in the y axis for this uh, corresponding value. Find out the uh, dry line, dry line from this 148.6. It touches the tangent line to this OCC curve. Okay, now find out the distance between the uh, distance between this uh, tangent line and this uh, OCC curve. So in order to find the distance, I will consider H is the point on the tangent line and C is the point on the OCC curve. Now find out the HC distance. 
that HC distance is a extra MMF required to add uh, to this uh, FF dash to enter into the saturation. So that's why this is your extra MMF. This length is your HC. So that HC is added to here FF dash. Now you enter value is 2.56 plus 0.32. You got 2.88. Now for this corresponding 2.88 field excitation value, what is the corresponding voltage value? For this draw a lateral line vertically upwards, it touches the OCC and find out that corresponding y axis point. That is your final EG value. Here the EG value is. 169 you got. After obtaining this uh, EG value, find out the voltage regulation. That the voltage regulation uh, formula is EG minus VT by VT into 100. Now I will uh, substitute this value. Here the percentage voltage relation I am writing EG minus VT by VT into 100 Substitute the EG value as 169 and the VT value as 127 uh, By substituting this you got the voltage relation value as 33.1 percentage Okay, thank you